last micro lecture for this week um, talking about the creeds. If you look at your syllabus, you'll see that we're going to spend a little bit of time with the creeds, um, which may be surprising to you. Uh, you know, further, we have some people who come from creedal traditions, but I, I would say, you know, at least in North America, evangelicals tend to be non-creedal. Um, if you're not in a Presbyterian church, um, an evangelical Presbyterian church, if you're not there, then you probably don't use the creeds. So this might be a little bit strange, a little bit um, weird for you. Uh, don't be weirded out by it. Embrace the creeds. Love the creeds. I do. Uh, sometimes in my church, you know, we, we have a, a sort of a, a history of being a little bit sectarian. Like, you know, this is our doctrine and we're not them. And, you know, we'll talk about the Catholics or the Orthodox and, and say, are they really Christians? You know, these sorts of, these sorts of questions. But I think the creeds are a great equalizer. Um, the, the ecumenical creeds of which I think this week you're just looking at the Nicene Creed, but I mean, if you if you can recite the creed and believe it, you're a Christian. I mean, you're you're a part of the the history of the church, you know. And it, it I think for Fuller, especially being a non-denominational and ecumenically minded school, it's critical for us to well, you know, we can have our disagreements and we can be very uh, passionate about our disagreements. But I think at the end of the day, we need to recognize we're all brothers and sisters, and that's a uh, well. That's that's where we're, that's where we start in this course. We start out as let's let's just find out who we are as people, and we're identified um, by the creed. The creeds are um, they're statements about the world uh, that Christians make. They they sort of say this is what the world's like, and so as you're looking at the creeds this week, this week is just sort of like do I understand the creed? Um, and so as you're going through it and, and finding the parts that maybe are a little bit weird or confusing, um, you know, keep in mind that really what you're trying to do this week is say, what is it that the creed is establishing? What does the creed say? And the next week we're going to start looking at the way that the creeds are, um, they're not summaries of Christian doctrine. They're really not. Uh, remember, if you're going to do a summary of Christian doctrine and you came up with a Nicene Creed, well, you've done a pretty bad job because you've left out almost the entire Old Testament. Uh, you've left out the entire life of Jesus. You know, you figure the four Gospels um, and then, well, the Acts of the Apostles. I mean, that's a huge chunk of the New Testament and is nowhere in the creeds. So it's not a summary. Don't, don't think of it as a summary. Instead, think of it maybe as a shaping of the world. Uh, this is, the world is shaped like this. The, the world is, is um, it's it's a it's a God-filled world, a God-created world. The world's uh, shaped like a triune God. Um, maybe start trying to think that way. Um, and yeah. So also, uh, when you're doing your forum posts, yeah, try to um, try to try to get something that's that's kind of thick. You know, a one that's popular uh, is the the part about Jesus being you know the same substance as the Father and the Son. Uh, that's good stuff. That's that's thick stuff. Another one that's interesting is uh, the judging of the quick and the dead, uh, as they used to say. I think it's been updated in English. But but you know, final destiny. You know, what does that mean? What are we what are we saying? And really get it so that um, not just that it's clear and simple, but also that it's um, the kind of thing that your congregations will be able to embrace. You know, make it gospel, good news. Uh, if you can find a way to do that, to make it uh, something that is uh, well it edifies the believers, and I think that you're well on your way to um, having a, a graduate education that is going to bless uh, your congregation. So, all right, more of the creeds next week.